What's up, guys? Ziggy here with Falzac. I gotta tell you, it is another chilly, chilly day in New Hampshire, but it is uh, 66 degrees in the shop, so it's not terrible. I've had the uh, bullet heater going for a little bit now, but still, you know, a little on the chilly side in some spots. But this damn cold just won't go away. So I've just been coughing, 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 but the show must go on. So I am living on cough drops, day quill, night quill. Canada Dry and Jerry Springer. So, uh, got a quick build. I figured I'd build it today. The customer asked me to um, to film it to see how it's done. Uh, so, and I don't think I've done it on YouTube yet, but it is a VP9 with TLR1. And of course I have the vacuum form for it to make my job a lot easier and quicker. So we have a level two Spetsnaz hood, a QLS fork, a QLS receiver plate, and I believe it's on a mid-drop, yep. And so we're gonna go grab some mid-drops and uh, put this baby together. So let's knock this out, and then I'll go have lunch, and uh, hopefully I survive this, because damn. The heat presses are on. This is nice and warm, so later on we're going to drop it to get the moisture out of the pad. So, But that's been on for quite some time. So let's come over here and build it. All right, we got the VP9er. We got everything that we need blocking-wise. So, I mean, we're going to have to grab some stuff here. But might as well throw it on. So uh, VP9 ends right here. Let me just grab the VP. So Blue Guns actually offers uh, black as well. This is the only VP9 that was available at the time, so I got it in black. So, put this on here. So, uh, YouTube, this is not a real firearm, so don't dock this video. All right. All right so we see it goes all the way to the end. So we're going to want to throw that. We'll put that right about there. And come down like so. Do the same thing. And Ooh, that might just be perfect. Oh, a little bit too. Let's go on to the next one. It's not too bad. That one's right there. And I think I have a thicker one though. Oh, actually. This might do it. Perfect. Yep. All right. Just verify. Yep. Goes down a skosh. Push that in. Line it up. Put it down. Spot and then throw that right about there. Bada bing. Move it over a little bit and then get some blocking under that. Perfect. It's actually good all the way down. Get that piece of hair out of there. This taped up enough where we don't have to worry about a lot of the decks going under it. And I believe no bells and whistles. 
black right hand QLS speed lock mid drop with plate nothing else all right flatten out the top put our bolt indicators screw hole indicators there we go and now we get this side which that is a thin side so that oh yeah right there and the reason why I do this is for the rigidity let's see actually mount that right there Quiet in here. It's weird. All right, and then that parallel to the slide, and good to go. Hell yeah! Let's get this. Put that through a cycle, and then cut a piece of black that'll fit this. You know, it's kind of funny. I just cleaned the shop, and uh, I've just been balls to the wall and sending them out. I've been doing about 20 orders a day for the past to like 10, 15 days, and it's still disgusting. But, keep pushing. Let's cut the black and uh, get this in, get it out the door. It's going to uh, Ohio. Take that. Then we'll drill out everything and cut. Drilled. And now I'm just going to cut it out in the bandsaw. You've seen that. It's pretty boring. So let's knock that out. Then we'll make our tab right here. Cut out this guy. Oh, man. Add hardware. Finish it up. Good to go. Ship it. Goodbye. See you later. Oh, now that it's cut, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to mark where to drill and make our gusset gusset made we we'll go ahead attach that using eyelets okay the next step we're going to heat it up fold it around the prop And then do a final cut, sand, buff, hardware, Bye bye And here we are folded. It looks absolutely beautiful. All right, but obviously we got a lot to shave down. So you can do it on either side. We'll do it here. Come up, let's go at an angle. Bam, call it that right there. All right, let's see here. Let's call that, call that right there. And we're gonna come up. Do it to there. All right, and then. Oh, of course it slid on me. Okay. 
right, we'll cut that. We'll be our B. Uh, hopefully you'll uh, be our H. All right, here is the rough cut. It's going to go in for uh, Dremel to clean up everything. And the, uh, let's see here. But yeah, we got looking like so far, looking pretty damn good. And just going ahead, clean that up, round the edges. Grab the hardware and bye bye Ugh. Jerry, Jerry. All right, here we go. Let's get it, uh, let's get this baby built. We'll do half inch and half inch posts and rubbers for the QLS fork mount. Minus the gray hair. All right. All right. Now we gotta take the hood. Get the hardware for the hood. Magic blue juice. These are also half inch. And before I take the hood, I usually throw some lube in there. Work it a couple times to spread it out. Remember, you can't go too tight because it binds up the internal workings of these. Check. All right. Mark where it's going to go. Let's bevel that. Take the Noga. Bevel the inside. Hardware on. Let's see here. Yeah, I normally do quarter inch. These are three eighths, so I'm going to try those. Kind of adds a little bit more tension uh, with the pushing out, but also kind of gives you more room for adjustability. A little tight. Let's back it off. And go just a little bit more. Beautiful. All right, maybe just a skosh more tight. Money. All right. Now, we'll set this aside. Oh, no, one more thing. Got to get the QLS on there. Ugh. It's apparently one of those days. All right, and like my daddy always said, don't tighten everything up until all of the bolts are in. Position it and then tighten. Here we go. Now we got to mount this to this. These ones already got the thread locker on them. We're going to take these nuts, line them up in the respected hole. And 
again, don't uh, tighten them up all the way. Now we can. So we got a VP9er with TLR1. Outside of the waistband, right hand, mid drop. And for those of you that don't know, if you have this particular setup, you can leave the mid drop on your belt like so, and then you can swap out any holster that has the QLS fork. So, bada bing. Right, this came out absolutely gorgeous again i can't i love vacuum forming so honestly so i know i asked you guys before if i should keep with foam pressing or offer both of them and uh well for the time being i'm still offering foam pressing uh, i am slowly getting off the foam so pretty much what i'm doing is anything that i'm seeing that i have duplicate orders of for the same thing obviously duplicate then uh, I order a vacuum mold and then um, everything else is gonna go bye bye. So I'm gonna slowly transition away from molds and go, or from these and go to these. That way, uh, lead times will drop, things will get faster, more precision, and uh, it'll be all around better. But that means there's gonna be some stuff I can't do anymore. But I'll uh, tackle that issue uh, once it comes here. So for now, I'm gonna keep things the way they are. I have been removing some stuff. I did remove the rush option because I had like, I think it was like 40 rush options at the same time, so I removed it um, because that just, it keeps other people waiting because I take all those rush options and I build them first. So that means, you know, I still have the ones uh, that I'm waiting on uh, to build. Uh, and generally, if I have like one or two rush orders, I'll take one, like mix it in with five that I'm building. That way everything keeps moving. But when I have 40 at the same time, it just puts a halt and everything else. So I removed that to stop that from happening so I can remove or keep moving stuff. So again, this one's going to Ohio. Uh, I hope you guys learned a uh, tip or a trick or two or whatever, you know, something that'll make your life easier when building holsters or the fact that, you know, just learning how these are made and the tools that we use to uh, make these holsters. So um, thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to Holstersmith and Knife Kits. All the hardware and everything you see is from them. Um, the mold is from Blue Guns flashlight i ordered or i applied directly from them and then uh the mold is obviously pale horse for those that ask a lot of questions on where i get stuff i usually put it in the description of where it comes from you know so like all the hardware multi-molds and a link to their website pale horse it's in there as well for the molds when i use pale horse multi-molds uh you know the list just goes on so on that note i'm gonna go in grab a bite to eat take care of the dog sit down for a minute because this is getting windy go get my drink and uh, ship this out and move on to the next one. So I appreciate all you guys. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Which there's some pretty cool stuff coming. And I can't wait to build them. I got the uh, epoxy out. Because I have to do duplicates for this particular setup. But you guys will see that eventually. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. And these are the orders from today. So far.